what I wanted to go over here was some reasons for second or primary clutch failures, what causes them. Um, first off, you have to understand on the 700 st series Rangers, especially it seemed like the 07 model year, they had an issue with the front motor mount right there. That motor mount will separate and cause an alignment issue with the belt and cause you a lot of problems with clutches and belts going out. Take a pry bar, bar and put it between the bracket and the frame and try to lift up on that. Verify that that mount is good. On an 800 Ranger, you may sometimes, well it's hard to see on this one, but there is a, a mount on either side of the front of the engine. Usually the right hand mount likes to separate and will cause the same problem. So check those mounts. Quickly here, we'll go over what can happen with the 700 and 800 primary clutch and maybe some secondary clutch here if we have time. Um, this is what can happen in over time or when you have too much um, belt misalignment towards the inside of the primary. It'll eat away at the face of the clutch. Another major problem on these clutches is the buttons will erode away at the pockets that hold them in. Over time that will cause the buttons to wear out. Sometimes the button will fall out or your clutch will just get really grabby. It won't shift up and down smoothly like it should. You can see what it, well these buttons aren't too bad. But it'll wear, it'll round the corners off your buttons. Um, let's see, next thing I was going to show you here. Um, one thing to watch, especially on the 700s, uh, that bushing there, I'll point to it. Um, that, that guy right there, see how it's moved in? It's started to slide out of its housing, that bushing's going bad. It can slide all the way out, and what typically you'll have happen is uh, the clutch won't want to allow the engine to go up very high in RPMs. Um, clutch will just act really erratic. You also want to watch out for wear in the weights. If you've got a lot of side to side wear in the weights, that will cause sh shifting issues. Um, there's also None of these clutches have uh, rollers on them, but you want to watch out with uh, with your rollers here. Rollers sit right inside that pocket there. You'll have fiber bushings on either side. If either of them are wore out, you need to get your clutch rebuilt if it's if it's decent to do so. Uh, if you have erosion on these pockets, if they're egged out for the buttons, uh, throw the clutch away. You're, there's no point putting any money in it. You can't get that part separately, so don't bother. Um, so we've talked about the face erosion. Typically, I will keep running that as long as that clutch is decent. Uh, you also have these fiber washers on either side of these of these bearings, roller bearings. You'll see these roller bearings on the, I believe, 08, 09. 700s and on all the 800s that I'm aware of. This is a one-way style roller. Uh, it'll spin one direction, won't spin the other. These uh, bearings like to gall up. Well, they don't really gall up, but they seize up. They run out of grease. Uh, this is a one-way. As you can see, there, the roller just fell out of it. Notice how there are three different sets of rollers. That's a one-way style bearing, usually for your EBS style clutches. About 35 bucks, if I recall. This is a two-way roller bearing here. It'll rotate either direction. It's just a single set of rollers. Uh, you can still use the EBS clutch with that, but you won't have as good a braking under 10 miles an hour. Here is the EBS clutch. You'll notice the galling on that shaft there, if I can get the light right. If they start to do that, there's really no point throwing any money after them. The shaft is not available from Polaris that I'm aware of. 
the uh, team secondaries, just the standard secondaries that aren't don't have any engine braking, they will do the same thing. It'll cause your clutch to to stick. It won't back shift. Um, it'll give you a really goofy takeoff. It'll act like a 10-speed bike that's in too high of a gear when you go to take off. Uh, for now, that's all I was going to show you on the clutches. Um, best way to take care of these clutches is to take the one-way bear or the bearings out and grease them every few hundred hours. Uh, if the buttons start to have some play side to side, take them out and replace the buttons before uh, they try to jump out of the pockets. Uh, button wear is what will take out these pockets on the spider. They get to slopping in there too bad and they'll erode that out. Uh, take compressed air, blow these out every time you have the belt cover off. It's just a good habit to be into. Um, typical lifespan on primary clutch anywhere from 600 to 900 hours. Uh, secondary clutch, EBS clutch, probably anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 hours. Uh, the regular secondary is probably a little less. Uh, that's all I had. I just wanted to show you guys an overview of the 700, 800 clutches and what's the common failure on them. Thanks.